Hi, my name is TJ Dorney. I'm a student at BYU, and I'm going to talk today about the Lapboard Take and Talk. First, we'll go through the design and the function of the actual um, technology. So first, you have to turn you have the off on volume. Um, you always got to make sure that you hear the click, otherwise it's not going to work. Um, there's also a switch for both place and take. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. And then on the back, you have five little buttons. There's record and then one through four. In order to actually record something, you have to hold both the record and one of the numbers. Just always remember that the numbers go one, two, three, four. Otherwise, you're going to get them all mixed up and the objects won't be in the right places. So just to show you how to record, Pepsi. I'm going to go into that for a second. The, uh, there's, if you can see here, there's little light sensitive sensors right here. Um, so unless you want it talking while you're moving around or, and everything, you always want to place it down before you turn it on. Um, also note that they are very light sensitive, so if you have anything translucent or clear, it's not going to work. So we have both the place and the take. So if you put it as place, then it's only going to work Pepsi. when you put it on. If you have a take, Pepsi. it'll only work when you take it off. Pepsi. Pepsi. And notice it is very sensitive. Now this is especially useful for students that require more physical objects. Um, a lot of, especially in the, the take even within the Take and Talk series itself, um, the lap board stands out because it's the one that uses actual physical objects um, rather than little pictures. And this can help students who maybe have some trouble grabbing at it or just need a little bit more visual representation. Um, and it's, it's still very useful for learning how to, or the difference between objects. Um, and it also has some really good built-in reinforcement. If you ask the student to you know, grab the Pepsi. Pepsi. Not only do you have the teacher to give reinforcement, but you have the natural reinforcement that comes because of the cause and effect. Um, now, this also can be very useful for not just objects, but colors as well. So I'll show you. Blue. Crackers. Not that. So we have different different colored objects. Blue. Please note that you do have to have an object big enough um, in order to cover the whole sensor, and that will stay on the sensor. Blue. And there we go.